So, um, tell me how you got into mocap. Um, 19 years ago. I'm celebrating my 19 year anniversary. Um, I got into mocap because I wanted to be a stunt man. So, uh, I, I moved to LA from DC and um, my first audition was for Scooby Doo Night of 100 Frights. And nice. uh, I was lucky enough I played Shaggy and all the villains in the game. So I, I didn't I didn't know what motion capture was, but I, I went out because my agent got me this audition and they had just filmed Titanic where they were doing motion capture for stunt, you know, for all the people falling off the boat. So motion yeah. capture was used. So I'm like, sure, I'll go to that place, you know, and then being a fanboy of comics and cartoons and things like that, they said, oh, you're auditioning for Shaggy. And you're, you, my audition was act like Shaggy, walk like Shaggy, be a gorilla, be Frankenstein, fall down, run into a wall, and dance. And um, I just, I, I, went, I, went, I went to the audition, and I stayed up the night before, watched Nick at Night. I, I did screen grabs with my VCR of, of scenes from the cartoon, and I brought them in. And I shared them with all the other people that were there to audition because they were all stunt people. And they were like, who's this guy sharing all this information? You know, and then they came out and said, who wants to audition first? And everyone went, that guy does. And so I went first and I got the job because everybody just copied me afterwards. So, and then it exploded from that. The second game, the client said, if he can do all those characters from Scoob Scooby-Doo, he can do Darth Vader. And I ended up being able to be Darth Vader and do the Darth Vader walk and Imperial walk in uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2. And it, then it just was like 100 games later, here yeah. I am. That's really cool. It's funny that you say uh, VCR. I'm sure a lot of people are. <laughs> What's, What's that? that? Exactly. Is that a digital? No. <laughs> Actual tapes that you put in the machine. Yeah. <laughs> um, talk a little bit about how it's different or maybe if it's not different doing motion capture for video games versus movies? Uh, well, the, the difference is um, cinematics are the same. If you're doing cinematics in a video game, it's like making a movie. But if you're doing in-game work for video games, like I, you're creating the movement tree for all the characters, all the movement, I mean thousands of moves from running, jumping, climbing, punching, falling down, shooting, all of that stuff. Um, that's the in-game work that I do for video games. And, and now, cinematic work, you know, where you're, you're doing the you know, stories, you're telling the cut story scenes. in the game, the cut scenes, and uh, the writing is so much better, the, the storytelling is so much better, so you have to be a really good actor, you know, because that does show through in your performance. I mean, we're, you know, it's performance capture at that point. It, motion capture is really when you're capturing the moves uh, of the character, you know, for the in-game play. But I also, like I'm teaching motion capture now too, and I tell my students, that's still performance capture because I, it's not me opening the door, it's the character opening the door. It's the characters making all these decisions and they will walk different, they will move different, they will think different than I would, you know. I, I love the whole thing of like, um, if you're playing a bad guy, you know, the bad guys don't think they're bad. They have their justification, right, of why they're doing what they're doing, but they don't think they're the bad guy. And so you have to be able to, you know, separate like that from the cutscenes. You sound like Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I agree with him sometimes. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I mean, video games have definitely gotten way, way better. Yeah. I mean, I played the Resident Evil games. And those were some of the first games where I saw that level of like cinematic cutscenes, and yeah. and the graphics were just amazing, and the movements, and I'm sure from the motion capture and all that. Yeah, the story. I mean, it it really is about storytelling. I mean, when, you, when a cinematic can make you cry, you know, you watch The Last of Us cinematics, you watch, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, to be able to be part of franchises, you know, like God of War, you know, Silent Hill. I played. Pyramid Head and all the creepy characters, you know, and Alex and that, but you're telling stories and you're affecting people. You know, I love watching people play scary games because they get freaked out and you're like, <laughs> yes, I did my job. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, did you get a chance to work with Jason Miles on the Godzilla movie? As Is there a, matter a story of, here? <laughs> um, actually, I, I, I am the left head of King Ghidorah. See the right head? He, Jason, Jason was the center head, I was the left head, and Alan Maxson was the right head. Oh, nice. 
So because the, all three heads had different personalities, um, we that's the way we, we approached it. Michael Darty, the director, said, you know, he had a he had one do, he had a breed of dog. He had three of the same dogs, but they were all three uh, had different personalities. And he used that as an example for us. You know, Jason is the center head. He's the alpha head. Alan was the right head. He's the angry head. I'm the left head, the curious head. So we all approached it on how we would react to the scene with those those characteristics in mind. Um, had you worked with Jason before that? No, no, that was our first, our first, first project together, yeah. Yeah, I did an interview with him for Rampage. For Rampage, yeah. So. I mean, but it's really funny, we make him do the, uh, the George pose all the time as the gorilla, <laughs> like when we do conventions, because we're now we're, we're now doing conventions, we're talking about you know doing G Ghidorah, and we make him do the George pose all the time. Well, he's ridiculously tall without yeah. the stilts. Yeah, I mean, six nine. Yeah, and I'm I'm six feet, and I'm usually the tall I'm usually the tall one on a mocap stage, you know, and he's six nine, and Alan was like six two. I was the short <laughs> one for a change. That's awesome. Um, have you had a chance to work with Andy Serkis before? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, our careers are very much in parallel. Mm -hmm. Like while he was doing the movie stuff, I was doing the game stuff. So what, what's really interesting, like uh, uh, I actually used one of his uh, one of his uh, trailers or f uh, his little discussions on on the history of mocap mm -hmm. for him in the movie world because it parallels what I was doing in the game world. Only in the game world, we were perfecting that technique before it got to the movies. So he would talk about real time, and I'm like, we did that before, you know. <laughs> but but that's what I mean. The movies were were taking from the game world because we were so much more advanced, you know, tech technology. Uh, we were advancing that technology, um, so we were doing. All of a sudden, when they saw the cutscenes could be really good, and you take Uncharted, you know, that that's a great storyline. You can watch those cinematics from Uncharted, and it's a great movie. Mm -hmm. Amy Hennig was a genius, you know. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a great movie. Yeah, <laughs> but but to seeing that, I Andy Serkis is a hero of mine. He's a, he's I I would die to be in in something with him. But it's really funny. I've actually lost the job to him. Oh, you know? no. So. <laughs> If you're going to lose it to somebody. Exactly. But to be in the same uh, discussion with him and with Terry Notary, you know, some great mocap actor. Or, it's not even mocap actors. They're just really great actors. Yeah. And so, you know, that's, it, it's really interesting how when you mention motion capture or performance capture, people think of it as a, as a completely different art. But yeah. we're just acting it's just in a different uh, environment. Well, like Andy Serkis has done a lot of acting as yeah. himself. Yes. And he was awesome in Black Panther. Yeah. Um, have you done acting as yourself? Yes. Or is it all? Um, I, I mean, I, I've done per, um, I, I've done prosthetic work as well, like playing other creatures and stuff, mm. which also plays into to what I do as motion capture. You're, you're playing different characters. But um, yeah, I, I, I have some other roles uh, um, in films and, and things like that where. You can see my face. <laughs> cool. Um, what would you say is your favorite video game role that you've played so far? Well, I get this all the time, but because I've been in so many, they each have a special place. But to be able to say that I've worked on the Uncharted series, I've worked on God of War, I was Red in Red Dead Revolver. That's an earlier, you know, now you have Red Dead Redemption 2, which is an amazing game and story. but. I call them my grandchildren, you know, because I was in. The, I, I was doing it first. Yeah. Um, Ghostbusters is a great one. Silent Hill: Homecoming. Um, the God of War franchise is so much fun because I don't play Kratos in those. I play all the other characters that interact with Kratos. So you get to play Hermes, Hercules. Yeah. You know, those are great, gods. great characters. Gaia. You know, those are. Yeah. I like playing the villain or the <laughs> the misunderstood character uh, yeah. because because you have a chance to delve into more incredible stuff like that. Excellent. Um, now you, you did um, motion capture work in Tron. Is that the original or no, the, remake. the remake? The remake. I mean, and, and for that, um, there were a bunch of us. I mean, you would take five actors and then we would be multiplied into 5,000 people. You know, like a lot of the, the big group scenes or... Um, you know, 
all, all the people, all the soldiers, you know, that that's the one thing about mocap. You can be digital, you know, digitized hundreds and thousands of times. I, I, I work on Spider-Man, the very first one with Tobey Maguire, where I have a great scene where I, mocap where the uh, Green Goblin throws the bomb and everybody turns to skeletons. I'm one of those, those general, you know, I'm one of the bodies of the skeletons dying. But throughout the, the movie, we are pedestrians on the street when he's swinging. Through. All of that stuff is yeah. motion capture. You're you're doing crowd simulation kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Right on. Um, tell me a little bit about the mocap vaults. The MoCap Vaults is the school that I teach at, uh, with now. So the MoCap Vaults is, um, it started in England. I, so my partner is uh, Oliver Hollis Leak is in England and John Dower. They created the vault. They brought it to America. So I run the American um, division of it. So I teach performance capture. Um, and since it's so popular now, I mean, actors, I mean, I sell out every class. Um, voiceover actors take my class, you know, physical actors take my class. It, it's a, I felt it was time for me to start to give back to an industry that has been so good to me. I mean, you know, 19 years of being in the business and I, I tell my students, it's time for you to get punched in the face instead of me. <laughs> so, um, and I love teaching. I, I really, really love it. I, I will still perform, It's, but I don't, it, if I work in front of or behind the camera, it doesn't bother me. You know, I. Like I'm directing the video game now too. It was like the natural progression for what I'm yeah. what I'm doing. Ghidorah comes along. Of course, I'm not going to turn it down. You know, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm I'm shooting the new cinematic next week for another game. But to teach and pass that knowledge on, and to see my students now booking AAA titles, working in movies. Alan Maxson, who actually is the right head of King Ghidorah, was my student from MoCap Falls. So that was his first job. So wow. to be able to work with him and patch him in, you know, I give a I give a patch to all my my students who book their first professional job. It's a, a big M of the mocap vaults, and it's they get to wear that. I mean, on their suit to say I am now a professional performance capture actor. So it, and, and it's so <laughs> rewarding. I feel like a very very proud papa, you know, to see my students book the, and get calls and texts and say. I just booked my first job, you know, and it's because of my training. I, I didn't have anybody to train me, and I, I and it was hard, you know. But I, I feel like I'm starting to lay the groundwork for what these these actors need because it's, it's it is a very very difficult thing, and you have to understand it. And you know, acting is acting, but you're working in a new environment. And, and for us, motion capture and performance capture is pure imagination. No set pieces, no wardrobe, no environment. You know, you're it's making a you. piece of wood has to become something to you. You know, so I I, I love teaching for the vaults. That's great. Yeah, that's a whole different environment now. 19 years later, yeah. dealing with VHS <laughs> tapes and <laughs> I, I, we can't even say we can't even say CDs anymore. Who, who has a CD? Or a DVD. I'm, I'm, st I'm buying all my things on iTunes. I know. It's all digital now. It's all in the cloud. Yeah. yeah. Um, final question for you. What do you have coming up for projects? Well, okay. So I'm actually, I'm directing two, two different games. One game I'm in charge of full movement and cinematics I'll be in charge of. The other game I'm really working on the movement for the in-game stuff. We're still de developing how characters are moving and they're testing that. Um, I'm shooting a new cinematic for a new video game. Uh, like I just had the Borderlands 3 trailer come out for E3. Um, so I play Flack in that and I cast it and I stunt coordinate it and I play a bunch of different psychos in that. Um, <laughs> Uh, so those psychos are, and board yeah, <laughs> uh, and yeah, I play Steve. You know, <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> uh, so uh, that and um, a couple other, you know, I have a couple other projects. I will find out this week if I'm more motion capture related or whether I'll be performing a new a new cinematic. For another game, like it, every day is is a, is a is a new exciting job. Right on. Well, thank you Good. so much. Thank you.